Hey guys, welcome to the first part of the Magical Voxel tutorial, where I'll take you from what is this cube thing to check out my awesome voxel art. Ready to dive in? Magical Voxel is a free, super fun tool for creating the 3D pixels. Think of it like Lego, but on your screen. It's lightweight, easy to use, and perfect for bringing your wildest ideas to life. Before we start, a quick shout out to F. Tracy, the genius behind Magical Voxel. We love you and we thank you for giving us such incredible tools to be creative with. By the way, I have no idea if I'm saying the name right, so feel free to correct me if it's not. To download Magical Voxel, just head to GitHub. I'll put the link in the description below. Go to the download section and grab the version for your system. Once it's downloaded, unzip the folder and boom, you're ready to go. No installation. When you open Magical Voxel, you see this little default cube. Don't like it? Just click clear in the top right corner or hit delete on your keyboard and poof, it's gone. To navigate around, right click and swing it around to rotate. Use the scroll to zoom in and out and middle click and drag to pan around the workspace or use the view cube in the bottom right corner. For keyboard shortcuts, think of it like a video game, WASD on keyboard, to move your view up and down, left and right. You can also switch between different views, perspective, orthographic, isometric, it's all there, just pick your favorite. You can also turn on grids, shadows and edges from the bottom left corner to keep things clean and precise. We have these three main modes, attach, erase and paint, and six sub modes, voxel, box, face, pattern, shader, and geometry. But don't panic, we're keeping this simple. So now let's start building. Press T to enter attach mode. Use V for single voxel, B for big chunky boxes, and F to fill entire faces. Need to fix something? Switch to erase mode by holding shift while dragging. You can delete single voxels, big voxels, or even whole faces. Now it's time to get colorful. Press G to enter paint mode. Use V for voxel paint, B for box paint, and F for face paint. Same shortcuts, different vibes. Want to move part of your model? Just press M to enter mark or selection mode. Select the section you want, then just hold Ctrl and drag to move it along any axis. Now let's talk symmetry, because why do extra work, right? So click X, Y or Z on the left to turn on mirroring. Over on the left, you'll see the color palette with multiple palettes. Pick any shade and start painting your voxels. Want to customize? Just click a color square and tweak it to get to the exact hue you're looking for. Don't be afraid to experiment, this is your playground. On the right, you'll find the edit panel. Rotate, flip, scale, repeat, and do so much more to your model here. Your saved files show up in the projects panel on the right. Now, here's something super cool, the word mode. Press tab or this little arrow up here, and boom, you can step back and manage multiple objects at once. Need to move your house next to a little tree or scale everything to fit a bigger scene? Ward mode is your friend, so always remember that. It's perfect for setting up bigger and more complex environments or scenes. Now let's see your model in all its glory. Press F2 or click on render on top to enter render mode. Adjust the lighting and shadows and make it shine. In render mode, play with the sun and ambient light to get the perfect lighting. For a quick screenshot, click on this little camera at the bottom or just simply press Ctrl-6 to capture the window. But if you need a higher resolution render, just go to the image panel, set your resolution and hit render. If your PC is struggling, just lower the resolution in the top right corner. And that's it! You just mastered the basics of Magical Voxel in no time. Like this video, share your creations and let me know what you want to see next.